Treehouse. Today in the Friendly Frog Treehouse, we're learning how to make a bowl of cereal. I'm hanging out in the kitchen today. So let's get started. Before we get started, my refrigerator is actually a whiteboard. So I'm going to use it to help us remember the ingredients we need to make a bowl of cereal. So what's the first thing we need for a bowl of cereal? Cereal, you got it. I have my cereal right here. What shape is my cereal? Yeah, it's a rectangle. So let's go to the whiteboard. So the first ingredient we need for a bowl of cereal is this shape, which symbolizes the cereal. And I like peanut butter cereal. So I'm gonna put a P and a B for peanut butter. <laughs> What's your favorite cereal? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for sharing. So what's the second ingredient we need? That was the first. What's the second thing we need? A bowl. <laughs> you got it. What shape is my bowl? What shape is this bowl, boys and girls? It's a circle. Yeah. Kiss your brain. You got it. So the next thing I need, I'm going to put a plus sign here because I'm adding to my recipe. I need peanut butter cereal. I need a circle bowl. What's the next thing, the third thing we need to make cereal? Milk. <laughs> so boys and girls, I use something that's called plant milk. <laughs> I like this milk. What kind of milk do you like? Wow, yours looks like mine. I mean, you have the same shape. What shape is it? Yep. A rectangle, but it's a little smaller than our cereal. So let's add to our recipe. We need a small container of milk or a carton of milk. Boys and girls, what's the last ingredient we need to make cereal? Yeah, we need, what is it called? A spoon. You got it, my friend. All right, so we're going to add another plus sign and we're going to draw a spoon. A spoon has a circle on top, two lines and a curve at the bottom. These symbols, they mean something, right? So we can actually read this. It says, I need cereal, a bowl, milk, and a spoon. And that's how I make cereal. Yep, a spoon, milk, a bowl and cereal. It doesn't matter how you read it, boys and girls, because these symbols mean the same thing no matter which way they're going. That's how shapes are. No matter how I turn this, it'll always be a circle. No matter how I turn the milk, whoa, make sure the top's on, <laughs> it will always be a rectangle. Oh, you see a triangle in there? You are so smart. Boop, so smart. But no matter how I turn the container, it's still, it's still a rectangle. You got it. Yep, it's the same for the cereal. No matter how I turn the bag, it's always going to be a rectangle. All right, let's get started. All right, so our ingredients are a bowl, milk, spoon, and we have our cereal. So what's the first thing we should do? Put our bowl on the table, you got it. What should we do next? Should we pour the milk in? Nope, how about the cereal? So when you open your cereal, you're gonna peel back this layer, it's a bag, and then you're gonna pull it open. When you pull it open, stay within the blue shape. Don't open the orange and brown shape over here. Stay in the blue, because this way, you'll be able to close your bag back. You see how it's only open on this side? Yep, that's how bag cereal works. The next thing you're going to do, put your bowl really close to you so that you don't spill it. Pour it in. I like to do half of a bowl, not too much. 
You got it, boys and girls. Do half of a ball. The next thing you do is very important. You're going to want to push this down and make sure that you seal it tight. That way it won't spill. And you can even roll it down too. Yeah, I have cereal here. That's all rolled down with a special clip on it. See that clip? Yep. I can actually clip this bag and I can clip this bag together like that and put it back in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. The next thing and the la second to last thing is open your milk and you're gonna to wanna to pour it in. So boys and girls, when you pour it in, should we pour the whole thing in? No, <laughs> we only pour in what we need, right? Just what we need. Yep, so pour in your milk, take off your top and pour in your milk like that. I'm going to get close so you can see it. I just want a little bit. Awesome. So boys and girls, make sure you put your milk top back on. Stick it back in the refrigerator. That way, when someone else comes looking for it, they'll know exactly where the milk is. <laughs> All right, my friends, it's time to pick up our spoon. Now remember, you hold your spoon like this, your hand over your fingers, just like that. And when you eat your cereal, you hold your bowl so that it doesn't spill all over, 